Hey, what's going on Weavers, Tim here again. And in today's video, we're having a look at the Trayvax Original 2.0 Wallet. This is a minimalist plate wallet that uses paracord to hold itself together. And the paracord is replaceable. That means it is highly customizable. So we'll be customizing this wallet in a few different ways and stick to the end for a mini review of this wallet as well. That being said, let's get into it. So when you first get the Trayvax Original 2.0 wallet, it will come, of course, pre-laced with paracord. I got the OD Green version, which came with this black paracord on it, and it works just fine with the stock paracord on it, but of course it does leave a bit to be desired, and we're just going to remove the paracord from this wallet. So it's super simple. I'm just going to undo the um, overhand knot at the very tail there, and um, also I'm just going to actually clip off the melted ends to make it easier for the paracord to slip through the holes in the plates and I'm just going to pull out all that cord and also don't forget to remove the little piece of plastic tubing that's on the very I guess top of the wallet uh, don't lose that because you will need that for the wallet and just continue to take out the remaining bit of paracord and get it all the way out so with that done we have our two plates and now we can start customizing with our very own designs so before we start lacing up our own customized paracord, we're going to take our piece of paracord and we're going to reinsert that little plastic tube and get that to the midpoint of the cord because that is necessary for the function of the wallet. It'll probably work without it, but it's definitely better with it. So it's important not to lose that little plastic piece. So just gonna show you how to uh, re-lace up the plate wallet with paracord this first time and all the other times will be the same. So hooking that tube back onto the wallet, it's quite easy from there. Just start from the opposite side and just start lacing the paracord through those holes, just going over and under. So it's um, very common sense. Just follow the holes and alternate going back and forth. And it's pretty much impossible to sort of get lost because um, you can really only go one way. As you can see, you'll just have to do an over under pattern, um, getting back down to the other side of the wallet. Make sure your paracord is melted to a slight point with your lighter. That will definitely help this process to get the uh, paracord through the holes. And what I've noticed is just a slight twisting motion does help get that paracord through much easier. So I did one side and on the other side, you're just going to do the same thing. So just continue doing that all the way to the other side. And we've got both terminal ends of the paracord coming out the very back of the back plate there. And when you get to this point, there is a larger rounded hole at the very bottom there. And you're going to put your strand of paracord through that rounded hole. And uh, both strands will go through this hole. Bring that out to the green side of the wallet or whichever color you have. And then now at the very bottom, there are two holes that are perpendicular to that notch. And you'll just simply feed the terminal ends through those two holes. Now there are uh, three holes in the very bottom of this 90 degree piece. And I just went through the two that are in the most middle. So now you have your paracord uh, laced up in the plate wallet and the two terminal ends coming out the bottom. And do leave a bit of excess in the uh, plates above because you know, you'll have to make some space for the cards and whatnot. So first up, Cobra Knots. We're gonna work with our two terminal strands. The strands coming out the top now. Gonna take the right strand, put a clockwise loop in it and lay it over the left strand. The left strand goes on top of the right strand behind the two core strands and take it out to the loop on the right and cinch up those two loops now. And now with the left strand, you're going to continue tying the cobra knots goes over the core right strand over top of that. And the right strand goes out the crook on the opposite side. So make sure you lead with the same strand over and over. Otherwise you're Cobra knots will start to twist. It's a common uh, beginner mistake. And yeah, just continue tying a few Cobra knots going down your core strands. And you can tie um, this section of Cobra knots however large you want. And I've tied about five Cobra knots and I'm just going to clip off the excess cord, melt it with my lighter and press down on it with the knotter's tool and do that for both strands. 
So that's our first example of customizing this wallet. Just have a nice, uh, simple Cobra Knot tab at the bottom there. And I think it looks great with this sort of silvery white cord against the OD green. Next up, snake knots. So I've already relaced up the wallet with some gold paracord. I think that looks nice as well for this color combo. And now we're gonna start tying some Cobra knots. I've got my two strands sitting like so. I'm gonna take the top strand, wrap it around my index finger, take the opposite strand, wrap it around as well, and then put it through the loop you created the first time. Okay, so we're using that Tibetan technique to tie these snake knots. And we're tying these single stacked snake knots. So again, cord on top, you make a loop. Second one loops around that and through the loop you just created, like so. And I'm just going to tie a few single stacked snake knots for this uh, version of the wallet customization. And if you have any fancy beads, you can add those um, in between the snake knots or before the snake knots, whatever you wish. So I've tied just a few snake knots in a row there, and now I'm gonna clip off that excess cord, and I'm just gonna singe those ends shut so they don't fray anymore. And there is a quick example with some snake knots. And for my third version, I'm going to do a beaded diamond knot. So I've got some nice orange paracord, and I think that goes great with the green. And this is the bead I'm using. It's the classic skull from Schmuckatelli. And I'm going to feed the paracord through the top of the skull bead. And I did uh, melt my ends to a point there to kind of twist that skull on. These beads do have a slightly um, narrow bore. So it is a bit hard to get some 550 through, but it does go through nonetheless. And from here, I'm just gonna tie a diamond knot. So I'm going to make a counterclockwise loop with the right strand, lay it over top the left strand, Bring the left strand around to the right side and underneath the right strand and put it underneath that middle cord like so. That forms our Carrick's bend. And now from here, the cords kind of want to naturally twist in a certain direction. So the right strand, make it go past the opposite strand, the, that opposite base strand there. Go from behind the Carrick's bend out through the front, through that middle hole. And next, the left strand goes to the opposite side. And again, make sure you go past the uh, base strand there and go out through the middle from the sort of back to the front. And from here, you can cinch up your diamond knot. So you can tighten that up. And of course, it is a little bit long, so I'm going to uh, move it down closer to my skull bead just by pulling out some excess. And now from here, I'm going to tie some Cobra knots with a piece of OD Green microcord. That matches really nicely with the um, wallet itself. So the same knots we used in that first example. And whenever I do the microcord Cobra knots, I do like to sort of push up on them and have them sort of stacked more closely together. And after tying maybe just about uh, just over half an inch of the Cobra knots, I'm going to snip off my excess cord and melt it with the lighter. So we've created this sort of uh, micro cord Cobra knot tab at the bottom. And of course we do have some excess orange, so I'm gonna snip that off as well. So I have been using this wallet for a couple of weeks and it has been working out just great. I've never really used a minimalist plate wallet before this one, so it took a bit of getting used to, but it really did make me get rid of all the unnecessary things in my wallet and only carry what I need. I really do like the paracord system of keeping the wallet together as it allows you to carry as many or as few cards as you like. And it also, as we've seen, allows for many levels of customization. The possibilities are quite endless as you're only limited by your paracording creativity. Accessing the cards is very easy as you just have to learn how to shuffle through them with your thumb to get the one you need. The money clip on the back is more than adequate for some folded cash as I normally pay with cards anyhow, so I don't need it to carry too much. The bottle opener on the back works just great and the scallops on the one side of the wallet allow you to get a good purchase while using that bottle opener or just for when you're playing holding the wall. The machining on the aircraft grade aluminum plates is very well done and the finishing is excellent as there are no rough edges or unfinished areas. I also love the OD green anodization, which is my favorite color by the way. And overall, I think this is a great minimalist wallet 
and something that you may want to check out if you're looking for something like this. So feel free to check out the link I've provided in the description box down below to Trayvax's website and be sure to use my discount code WEAVERS10 to get 10% off your purchase. So a huge thank you to Trayvax for sending me this wall to check out and customize and play around with. I'm really appreciative of that. And as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you guys want access to exclusive videos as well as other Patreon perks like joining our Discord, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and also check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.